It's hard to make a bucket look good, but I tell you what, Vertex Design always find a way to make stuff look good. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I've got 11 mods for you. For all platforms, we've got 6 new and 2 updates. And for PC and Mac, we've got 2 new and 1 update. And one of these mods that's right in front of you now is a bit of a game changer. Let's check it out. Starting off the day with new mods for all platforms, we have the Nomag T-Force Plus 640. This is very different from anything that you have seen before. Let's check it out in here because this is where the differences begin. What can we plant? Wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, grass, corn, sunflowers, sugar beets, and cotton. With one thing. Requires 300 horsepower, holds 4,440 liters, that's seed and fertilizer, and it has a 9 mile per hour working speed. At the bottom you see, with a cedar planter you could sow fields, with this no-till seed drill, plowing or cultivating is no longer necessary. So this now will direct drill like some things you've seen before, but it also plows in advance as well. Online it says this is a no-till no seed drill that requires neither plowing nor cultivating. Instead, the soil life is promoted by bacteria and fungi. Earthworms also take over the subsoil. With its openers, Novag is the innovation leader in the field of no-till sowing. Now, of course, we're not going to be using bacteria and we're not going to be using earthworms or anything like that in-game. However, we can put it in the code where you don't have to plow anymore, and that's exactly what Big Farmer 145 has done. So let's check out customization. Rim colors through here, we have metal and we have gray. Now, that gray is more to match the frame, and then your metal is more of a base game gray. Whatever you like there, personal preference. Auxiliary bins. You've got it to where it'll hold more seed than fertilizer. It will hold a 50-50% seed and fertilizer or it will hold more fertilizer. Generally, in this case, I would say use more seed and you will be just fine. Working speed, this is only available if you have the, uh, the flexible seed speed mod thing for PC. Console guys, you could just ignore this, but I will go over what this says anyway, so we can go all the way down to 4.4 miles per hour or all the way up to 13.1 miles per hour, though the working speed is nine miles per hour by default, and then wait. You can actually add extra weight to this. This is something new that I haven't seen before as well. So through here, you can see weight. We have 1.3 ton additional weight added or without the additional weight. I don't know how that would affect your working. I think that I would probably go with less weight. That way your tractor has less to pull. But nonetheless, I like this very, very much so. It's a beautiful machine. It's looking good. It sounds good. It is what it is. It is very, very good from my understanding and what you will hear later on in our interview with uh, good friend Alien Paul. Might be seeing some more stuff like this coming soon. Next up, we have the Brussels and Laid High Tip Shovel Pack. This is by Vertex Design. We talked about this in Farm Sim News a couple months ago, so maybe a couple weeks ago, something like that. And they have finally got it out. It's out now for all platforms. We have two versions. We have the L67 and the L71. The 71 is massive, by the way. Let's start with the 67. So with this one, we have main color. You've got your Brussels and Laid gray, black, green, and orange standard stuff. We're going to leave it on orange just so you can see we do have some configuration so we have a 1900 liter capacity 2090 liter capacity and we have a 2480 liter capacity all the way up to 2730 through there we also have attacher types we have front loader telehandler we have the pause if you guys are familiar with that piece of equipment and back to front loaders front loader telehandler and the pause now if there's other options that you're wanting like a wheel loader for example They've got you covered. And this thing is big. It's really heavy as well. This is going to be the L71 main colors. All exactly the same. We'll go with a green this time. Capacity. We have 4,600 liters, 5,290 liters, 5,400 liters, and lastly, 6,210 liters. That is a big, big jump up in size right there. And attacher type. We only have two of them. Telehandler and wheel loader. So only between those two and you're good to go regardless of what you're up to there. I love these. I think they look great. Like I mentioned, it is very, 
very heavy. This is the 71 right here. And you can see it is just rocking this telehandler. Let's turn on our help window so you can see what this does. So a high tip bucket is supposed to get to here. So you can see here, well, we get up to a point, even with a telehandler, you do get to a point where you just can't tip anymore. Just like that. Well, that's where the high tip bucket comes into play because it can tip for itself through here. You don't need to raise up any higher, lower. So you see, that's really our tip limit. But we do increase that by quite a few meters. Boom. I love it. These things are great, man. Check it out. Next new mod for all platforms today is the Polish Dog House. This is a Polish dog kennel ideal for small Polish farms and maps, which we have quite a few of already now. Price is gonna be $500. Maintenance cost is $1 per day. Next up, we've got the Orange ORM90. This is a new mod for all platforms. If you are on console, you will see this right here. It's the Lizard ORM90. And as well as this, consoles actually received the other version the 160 that PC got today, finally. So let's jump back over to the PC, there we go, and check out customization. So there's only one customization, and it is capacity. It is going to be either 10,000 liters or 11,500, either way through there. This is a bulk container, so it'll hold literally any solid that you've got on your map. Next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Ibis Booth. This is where you can sell things and you can get very, very good money for them. You could sell wheat, barley, oats, potatoes, eggs, milk, and you can even sell water here. And back on the list today is the Lizard Modal. We talked about this, I believe it was Wednesday. This video is coming out on Friday. I think this was removed. Well, I know this was removed. It was removed before I even got my my mod video out. I had to add a text saying, this mod's been removed. So let's go back over it again, just for those of you that want to check it out. This has a 400 liter capacity for, for uh, fertilizer and for lime. You can change up your main color, which is the body right here. Any red that you want, you've got it all. And any green for the top that you want, anything like that. Working speed, again, this is going to be a PC only thing if you have the speed mod installed. Uh, you can go nine mile per hour, which is the standard. You go 13.1 max or 4.4 for the minimum. And as far as stickers for everybody, you can add a lizard sticker on the sides if you wish. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. We have two of them for you today. First up, we have the pack big bag. Hey, this is going to be version 1.1 edition of chicken, pig, and horse feed bags. They've also added the CSZ pack and bag and lifter pack compatibility, and they have modified the price just a little bit. And an update to the Corteva gallon fertilizer and herbicide 20 liter gallon tanks. This is version 1.1 added gallons on the pallet. So you can have these on pallets or off pallets individually. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First up, we have the Orange ORM160 trailer. This is by 76 Max. And if you're on console, well, you've already been able to use this for a couple days now. Uh, two days, yesterday, one day, days, insert number here, something like that. Either way, console players have already had this, but PC players just got it. We can hold 19,000 liters. We can also hold 20,000 liters and 22,700, 22,800 liters. Either way you want to go through there, there you go. This is a bulk trailer. It matches perfectly with this bad boy right here. If you want to run a smaller one for doing a little bit of carting, maybe a larger one for running crops to the sell point if you're running a smaller farm, hey, go for it. This is going to be perfect. And your second new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Set Cruise Control by Viper GTS 96. This activates and sets the cruise control speed to the current driving speed, not to a speed, let's say you're going four miles an hour and you want to set the cruise. Well, it's probably going to set it to the max speed, right? Well, or whatever you have it set to. This, with the default key four, you are able to set this to whatever speed you're going, just like you would in real life. Great mod. And we do have one mod update for PC and Mac players today. And you probably look at this going, oh yeah, I know. This is the i for williams TT3621 trailer. We're using the transport version, but you can use the bulk version as well. And this is version 1.0.1. They have fixed the street wheels, not showing up. Now we've got street wheels and I don't have invisible wheels anymore. Darn it. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the Go Ham fam. 
Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.